guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to start working on my Shabby Art Boutique design team project for this month. And this is the um, Autumn Days kit that she has for this month as part of the Handmade Club. So if you aren't part of the Handmade Club and you would like to be, I will leave my link below in the description box. And you just have to click on that and it will tell you all about it. And she will know that you signed up under my name. So I just wanted to share some of the beautiful pages. I didn't print all of them out. Um, I usually don't until I know what I'm working with and what I want to make and stuff. But I printed out a few of the ones that I knew that I would use. Got a few neutral background pages. They're just so pretty. Look at that one. So gorgeous. And I hope you were following the other design team members. They are so amazing and the work is just incredible. So hopefully I will remember to leave the link to all the design team members below. And what I thought about doing, oh, here are some of the elements that she includes in the kit. They are so pretty. They're super fall-ish, but if you didn't want to go that route, you could always just work with the florals and stuff like that. So you have tons of options. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, this was so fun, this little, heartwood slice. I love everything heart, so <laughs> that was so cute. And look at her little hedgy. Isn't she or he cute? This is so pretty. Love all of the pretty die cuts. So um, I will leave a link to how I print and then cut uh, using the Cricut. And if you haven't seen that one. I also have a new video on the papers that I'm using for this project by Printworks. Uh, they sent me their papers and you guys, I am really impressed. I've always been a fan of um, Red River paper and I adore that their paper. Their paper is incredible. But I have to say that this really does stand the test to to theirs. Um, the uh, matte photo paper is so smooth. It is just like, I just want to sit here and feel that out the whole time. <laughs> but anyway, check that video. I'll leave that in the link as well. All right. So I was inspired by Shabby Debbie Duda. She made a folio. And she made a folio out of these envelopes, really large ones. I think these are 10 by 13. I'm not sure the exact size that she used, but uh, she did use these. So I'm gonna try and remember what she did. It's been a while. But I'm gonna glue this back a little bit. That just got from the coffee dye. I just ran a little bit of coffee. Um, nothing perfect on there, but I wanted to have them not crispy white. I These are the white ones that I started with, and I think that's what she used as well. So this one has sticky. I'm just gonna close this up. That's what she did. You can leave it open if you want to. Um, so I think she folded these in half. Now my idea for this was to make a little folio that you could use like maybe as your gratitude journal or something. Or if you just want to write, you know, your positive quotes or what you're thankful for, um, this is a little place for, you know, keeping your stuff together. I just thought it would be fun. And she 
she made this like a trifold, I guess, kind of thing where she just made the pockets using using this. So she just folded them both in half. I can't remember if she closed this, but I think she did. If she didn't, we can open it up. Just We'll just cut off a little piece. So I hope everybody's doing all right. too close to that because then, you know, will this close? Will this close? Might be a little tough. Or did she go like this? See, now I don't remember. I wonder, I wonder if she did that. Okay. Let's do that. I feel like I want to cover this one inside. Let's do that. So I have to say, you know, yesterday I found not to be it, you know, not to bring you guys down because this is supposed to be a cheer video, but I thought we should show some love and support. Um, I was really saddened to hear about Sherry's passing um, yesterday. And uh, Sherry is uh, one of our fellow crafters. She's uh, Craft Pray Repeat here on YouTube. And they did a really beautiful tribute to her life and everything. And um, I listened to her, I guess I was behind on her videos, and I was listening to uh, her request for prayer when she found out that she had COVID and everything. So um, it's so real, you guys. Uh, sometimes I, you know, I feel like I personally get comfortable and uh, and we can't because there's a lot of people that you know are unable to get vaccinated that that are affected by it. So just check that out if you're interested. I'll leave Sherry's link below. So um, anyway, let's get to going on this. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> bring everybody down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cover this with this paper. I'm using the 8 mil sheet. Let me go grab that real quick. Please go check out the video that I show the Printworks paper on. Uh, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed with the paper. So this is the matte photo paper. I'm using the 8 mil, but I listed in the on Amazon the uh, 6 mil, which I think is honestly better. This is a little kind of thick for this <laughs> but uh, it's not too thick it's not like cardstock but it is quite thick for matte photo paper so I'm going to go ahead and put that down there and you know I like to sew my papers before I put it down but I'm debating what I'm gonna do because you know I want to add some flips and stuff and I'm gonna need some envelopes. So let me grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, I went and grabbed a bunch of bags and little envelopes. Coffee dyed, avocado dyed. Just grab whatever I had there to be able to use. 
All right. This one here, something like that. So then maybe on this side, since that one's not, I can have this one under there. This one to do oh, that's a big one. This is just like a recycled envelope from the mail. And I just coffee dyed it. It's a little ripped. Let's see, do I want to do something like this here? And that's going to go like this, and that's going to go like that, and that opens up like that, so maybe something here. Maybe a bag there. I'm just thinking like, Instead of having like making this a true folio where I wouldn't have any journal pages it would just be lots of tuck spots and little pockets and um, clips and stuff that you can tuck your favorite quotes in or just kind of use this to spend time and writing like what you're grateful for that's just my thoughts on that, how I would use this If I did something like that, let me grab some paper clips so I can clip this on just to kind of get an idea of what I'm thinking for this. Okay, this one is going to go here and here before I glue that on. So let's put that there. I hope you guys get what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do like glue on three sides and that's gonna be a top loading pocket. And then this is gonna close and this is gonna close. Well, I need to cut this paper down. But... And then these are all gonna be flaps and stuff. So let's go ahead and cut this down. Okay, I've cut this down, and now maybe I can show you a little bit better what I'm doing here. All right, so this will go under here, and then this one will go over here. Like that. Now I'll glue it down, and I'll have this opening here, and this opening here. That. All right, and then all right. Let me go ahead and get my paper clips. There we go. Okay. And then this one can go there. Before I glue those together. And then to figure out what paper I want to go with there. Whoa. I'm dropping stuff. 
love this. That is so beautiful. I love these collage pages. Let's see, got this one and this one. Okay, this one can go there. <clears throat> that one can go here. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one down. Where's my pencil? There it is. That, and then... This one. Okay, I'll cut that. That's gonna go there. Oh my goodness, when I start seeing these yummy papers, I get so excited. Okay. somewhere okay so this is actually going to be glued to that so we don't need to cover that and then this one so this one let's see I think I might put this one down here and then use part of this for a pocket. Wouldn't that be pretty? All right, let's do that. I'm going to cut this one down. So that'll be like that. That'll be like that. Right. Should put this, attach this to the front. And then the back 
will just be the back. So I have to decide, am I gonna make a side pocket or am I gonna make a, uh, well, honestly, you can have the side, po the top pocket, and then you can open this up and then have a pocket on the side in the back. So that would be cool. All right, so we will cut that open and that will be a little goodie there. Keep doing that and confusing myself. This is the front, so I kind of do I want that on the front or do I want this on the front? I think I want this one on the front, and uh, I could open this too. I'm not sure if I will, but let's just go ahead and cut that down. And then that way, if I want to decorate in any way on the front, I won't be covering up all those beautiful things. Okay. You know, I could add something over here. Well, anyway, we will be playing with that. So this is going to go under here. That'll be the front. This will be this inside here, which will have two flaps. This part will have a flap. And I thought I had a bag in there. It must have come out. Put this bag in here. And then that'll open up. Why is that in there? This is going to go over the top. This will be, that looks nice there. That will be like that. And then this will be the back. So I could use one of these for the back. That would be pretty. Or I could use one of this one for the back. This one for the back. So we'll cut that there. And this here. Okay, so that's going to go on the back. That is going to be so gorgeous, you guys. All right, so now we are ready for the next step. I'm gonna do all my sewing, glue everything together, and then come back for decorating. All right, guys, so thanks so much for stopping by, and I look forward to meeting you with the next part. Bye for now.